Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be installing my GT500 front bumper conversion for my 2019 supercharged Mustang. So right now, I am heading towards AutoZone and I'm going to buy a socket box. Um, I'm going to be, right now, I'm waiting for my package to arrive. So meanwhile, I wait. I'm going to be um, taking off my front bumper. So when I... So when my new bumper gets here, I just install it. So yeah, let's get right into the video. I got, I got the 45 piece set um, for the sockets. I got a socket ad adapter for my G-Wall Impact and this push pin so I can take off all those little pins without breaking them. So yeah, let's get to the house and start taking them off. I actually made another stop at Miranda's Bakery. Man, best fun in town. No cap, if you're in the Woodburn area, I highly recommend this. Didn't have time to take off my bumper, but UPS is here. Let's get this shit started. Hey guys, so these are the screws that we're going to be using for the front grill to put it here. Um, I am not going to put this MC, MP concept thing in the front. You're supposed to put it like this, kind of show their logo, but I'm not going to do that. So let's install it. Once again, using the longer ones. Don't use the small, small one, use the big one. Let's install the first one right here. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws. And then we're going to put out the lower one right here, which would be this one. Same process. We're going to be using these screws, the bigger ones, with some washers. One washer. So I put the lower lower grill now. Now what I'm going to do is put the sides. Well, it's not a grill, but it's going to be this one's right here. All right, so all these little pieces here, this one and on this side, you're supposed to take it off. So what I'm using are snips, but you can also use a pocket knife. I wouldn't recommend a pocket knife. I would recommend a racer knife. Those are sharper, so yeah, just, what you're going to do is snip this right, right here. Right. Five minutes later. And now, with your razor blade or knife, clean this up. Alright, so this piece was right here and all I did was snip it off and now all you have to do is slide this piece forward. Okay, then just push it that way. There it is. And then um, they say that they should put adhesive right here, all purpose adhesive so this is not flapping around. So I'll do that later okay, so this is how it looks right now honestly this was a this is a bitch putting that on the rest looks really nice really good and yeah don't forget to like this video and subscribe I have more things coming up now let's install the no chin spoiler chin spoiler guys right, so now we're going to be using these ones washer and the nut we're going to be placing them right here where you can see the holes and on this one the hole doesn't line up so what we're going to do is get the self tapping screws which is these little ones and you're going to screw them in there all the ones there's um actually comes with the paper so it's only one two three four five of these won't line up which is one two three four and five and then the rest do lining up with screws except these ones are right here so just look at the paper and yep there it is all the screws the nuts now i'm going to use these self drilling um self tapping screws right here the little ones and um damn my hands are ashy as fuck just one bottle a day will save all the ashiest motherfuckers you know Ok 
Okay, so now you're going to get these ones and put them in these top ones right here. So one, two, three, four, five. The five they show on the paper. So right here, you have a screw and the washer. Just put it in. Just like that. Uh, last one. So this is how it looks with the chin spoiler. It's starting to look really, really good. Everything's installed besides this piece right here, which this one would go on this side, just like that. So I'm going to be doing this one next. So this is the next piece that I'm going to put. So these holes, these holes here line up with these ones right here. So we're going to use the sm small ones and just Obviously line that up and screw it in. So this is how it looks now. Everything is all put together. Now, I did also put a screw right here in the back. But yeah, everything looks really good. Now I'm going to disassemble my front bumper and install this. So now I'm going to remove the bumper. What I need to do first is move my wheel all the way to the left. Now, there's two push pins, one here, one here. This one, I don't know why I didn't come, came with it, but yeah, then after this one, there's one more all the way in the back. And yeah, um, let me take them off. Now I'm going to remove all these push pins and then, you no, know, take it off. Once you remove the cover, you have to take out all these bolts right here. Grab an eight millimeter socket take all of these off all right now get your 7 30 second and take this little screw out same thing on the other side make sure you don't lose these and after that we're gonna take out all these little bolts that are right there all those and you know, I barely had clearance, but it, I was able to take all of these off. A lot of screws. All right, there's also going to be two bolts right here. So that kind of just pushes to the side. And there's going to be, give me a second. That bolt right there. There's two of those. Take those off right there. And this is what you're going to take off. It's a washer and uh, combine. But there's another one in there. So let me take out the other one. Remember, don't lose those. After that, you should just be able to pull the bumper out. So now let me go. Oh, and also don't forget to disconnect the light switches, these two. And then now we're going to take these off and put them in the aftermarket one, in the GC500 one. For this, um, get your seven, seven millimeter socket and take these three bolts out. So that should just come right off. Now do the same thing for that side. What we're going to do is reinstall it. That is good. That's how it looks with the light. That's how it looks without the light. Sorry for the sun guys. Yeah the bumper and put them on this one same thing with this one now connect your connect these back Damn! 
And now let's install this. Hey guys, so this is the next thing. So this is how it looks all installed. Oh my God! Wow! To install it, you have to do everything you did to take it off. You will need to reuse um, this rubber thing for the water so the water doesn't go in. And all the screws that you took off down there, you will need those screws again. But there will be some screws right here. There's like, I think four on each side that are going to be extra. So don't worry, that's normal. Um, honestly, putting these on were a bitch. The screws that are going here. So as I said, the, there's going to be like four screws on each side. So what I did on those screws is I put one right there. So, you know, it's black, so it's going to blend in. After that, you're going to put all the bolts back here and the two little ones. It's the 732nd one here, one here, then put this cover back up. And then after that, you are basically done. Um, honestly, it, was, it wasn't that difficult. It was, um, it was pretty straightforward. Definitely scary at first, but now that it's done, um, I'm proud of myself. But once again, it wasn't too hard. I would definitely recommend this MP concept front bumper. Well, thank you for watching my video. If you guys liked this video and want to see more behind the scene, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link down below and put it on the screen. It's supercharge underscore five point ho. And yeah, stay tuned for more, for more videos. Um, what I have plan X is to lower the car, get the, get a cow hood, and then obviously get this um, color match to ruby red. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.